Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for October 2024. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Virgo, this is your monthly reading for October. I can't believe we are here already, but here we are. The year really is flying on by. Uh, this is the month that I have been most concerned about, but let's see how the energy will affect you personally and the world at large. Well, we are officially in Libra season, which will influence you to seek new horizons, start new projects, expand your knowledge or reach, be curious and embark on new travel destinations. It's a perfect time to get creative, get deeper clarity on your desires, whilst at the same time strengthening relationships with important people in your lives. Now this month it should all be about balance and harmony. However, we have the last eclipse of the year occurring and it is a big one. It's a solar eclipse that occurs during a new moon, which can trigger some major reality checks and literally fling you out of your comfort zone. Eclipses, they offer shocking but positive personal revelations in order to shift perspective or even course correct to get back on track and do what is right for you and do things that you really love doing as well. Now, it can also radically change an important relationship or even see you start an important relationship, whether it's love related, business or even friendship. Combining Mercury's influence this month can also indicate some surprising news comes your way. Doesn't have to be negative news. However, whatever it is, in the end, it's all for your highest good. Now, an eclipse plus a new moon actually increases your manifestation potential. So get really clear on what it is that you want to achieve and uh, watch the universe deliver a prosperous outcome for the universe shall work with your energy for you to achieve it. And um, make those wishes and manifestations before the 9th of October, though, because we do have Jupiter, planet of good luck and uh, prosperity, retrograding, and it will not turn direct until February 2025, when the energy will stabilize again. Now, on a global scale, if you think the last couple of years have been a little bit weird, hold on to your hats, because this could be the start of some bumpy energy for some time to come, especially in terms of world events. Now, this eclipse, it can influence some sudden new governmental structures, rules or regulations, policies put in place. You may see a radical dismantling of traditional structures, or even sudden reshuffles of people in positions of power and authority. Now, this can cause shock, anger, and disappointment. We may even hear of a well-known global leader leaving the earthly plane and really dissect the legacy that they leave behind and what we learned from it, if anything at all. Now, Libra also represents strong alliances, peace, and love. But of course, this eclipse, it squares Mars. I mean, why wouldn't it square Mars? We've already got a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, but planet of conflict, of course, um, it can cause some arguments. So we may see some new alliances form globally, as well as a breakdown in certain established global contracts and further conflicts escalating too. Now, I hope I'm wrong on that, but the energy is a little bit volatile at the moment. You really don't need me to tell you that. But the saving grace could be the trine in Jupiter on the 8th before it retrogrades. Now, that will fight really hard to find a positive resolution, but its task is it will be a difficult one. We also have Pluto, planet of life-altering change, dipping back into the sign of Capricorn on the 11th of October, as if we haven't got enough going on. And, you know, 
this is really the threshold of change. And this is where I'm a little bit nervous uh, because we could see some changes in the financial markets. Last time we saw this sort of shift into Capricorn was in 2008, where the world witnessed one of the largest financial crises of our generation. Luckily, this period, it will be brief as Pluto will re-enter Aquarius in November. And uh, this month, let's put it this way, it's the month to realize that all is not as well as it seems. And on a collective level, everybody will be aware of that. Now, Pluto, it reveals cold, hard truth and partnered with this eclipse energy. Lots of exposés will continue this month. I actually mentioned in my yearly uh, for 2024 that this year is the year to expose people, things that are hidden behind the scenes, hidden agendas, illicit wrongdoings. It's time for the truth to finally come out. And this will continue way into 2025. But is this merely a distraction? You know, this period can also see some of the most extreme tectonic plate movements. And if you know my readings, you'll know that my guides have been constantly drawing my attention to the Ring of Fire, which can symbolically, of course, represent the solar eclipse period we're about to enter, because it is the Ring of Fire. Also, it could point to the edges of the Pacific Ocean for major sort of tectonic plate activity. Now, I'm also drawn to the Anatolian plate and the African plate in the Mediterranean Sea for major eruptive potential too. And again, I hope I'm wrong on that, but uh, again, the energy supports it. So let's see what happens there. On a personal level though, Pluto can actually help you to detox, declutter, articulate yourself effectively and have your needs met, as well as build a deeper relationship with your inner self. The super full moon on the 17th, it will actually ask you to pay more attention to your health and make long lasting changes to improve your well-being. You will literally commit yourself 100% to your self-improvement. And whatever you align yourself with in October, it will actually amplify into 2025. So make sure you do more of what you love as October will act as a mirror of what to expect next year too. Now it is a potent time to release heavy energy, anxiety, and empower yourself with the next steps on your journey. Yes, October will be a little bit of a difficult month to navigate, but on a personal level, it actually works really well for you. It'll yield so many rewards and revelations that aid you with the next steps on your path. We close the month with my favorite time of year, Samhain or Halloween to some. Now this magical time is perfect to light a candle for the ancestors and offer up a moment of gratitude for their struggle, open the path for us to thrive. The veil shall be the thinnest during this period, so expect messages from loved ones and spirit in the form of feathers, coins, and scent. And this will let you know that they protect you, they send love, and they are guiding you towards greater things as you deserve the best in life. Now, looking at your energy here, I feel there's something that you've been waiting a long time for, and um, it hasn't shown up for you. But this is a breakthrough month. You've got the Ace of Swords there, especially at the end of the month. Your first card there is is the hangman. So I see a lot of you really are in need of a break, in need of a rest. You're exhausted, but also I feel like you want a little bit more fun. The fact that you've got the hermit and you've got the hangman, this is a period of pause. So the beginning of the month, even though you're exhausted, I mean, you've got the lover's card, so I feel some of you have a decision to make at the beginning of the month, and it may be a head over heart decision. Do not rush into this. These two cards say, take your time. The right answer is within you. And of course, you may ask people that you really care about um, to help you and give you advice. But at the same time, you know, this kind of energy supports that the answer is actually within you. You know what is the best course for yourself. Now, the hangman, of course, this is a card where you may feel that even though you're putting your 100% into life, you may feel like you're kind of in the same position. So some of you are looking where you're at right now, reflecting on your progress in life. And although you're putting a lot of your energy into life, I feel like you are exhausted. There's still more to do and you're aware of that, okay? I feel there's something you've got on the back burner there. Uh, maybe an idea, maybe a move, it may be a vacation. Whatever it is, I feel, because some of you may have just come back from a vacation or you're currently uh, about to take one. I feel it's very present in the energy right now. So maybe you took a vacation for your birthday season, or maybe you're just about to take one because you treated yourself for your birthday. Uh, I'm getting an energy of wanting to get away to really think about things, okay? Now, if you don't have that luxury to do that, I see you withdrawing briefly. 
in the month of October in order to get your head straight about the next steps of your path. Because this card is actually a very important card. It means that you're seeing things in a different viewpoint. You're gaining new knowledge this month. So this can be new extra wisdom that comes from within you, but also outside of yourself. So there could be new information that comes your way at the beginning of the month that really sets you thinking about what you need to do for yourself. A lot of you are in the law of attraction stage because you've got the lover's card there, so you're really tapping into your heart space to see what it is that you love doing. Are you on the right course? And if you're not, I do see for some of you a little bit of a course correction. Now, even though the energy supports that for Libra season, it doesn't mean that every sign is going to connect to that, but I feel you really are. I feel like you're making some long lasting changes in your life this month, and I feel it'd be very, very beneficial, but it's connected to a dream is what I see. And not a dream that you've got in, you know, when you sleep, it's a dream or a goal that you have that I feel you know it's about to come into fruition for you the end of the month in particular is going to be super busy lots of multitasking but the beginning of the month I feel it's kind of like a nice steady pace you still got responsibilities and tasks to do and of course you are going to be very productive you've got the chariot card there so I do see some movement going on and you accomplishing great things whatever projects you have on the go I definitely see that you are um doing it right now and making it happen. You know, you're making life happen for you. But also your second house is influencing you at the beginning of the month. And that's all about value. And when you are ruminating, because the hangman is to stop and think about things, you know, I feel some of you are about to turn your life upside down with a major change. But, you know, your second house is about how you value yourself and looking at situations where either people misunderstand you, you undersell your talents, or you, you know, give away your power in situations. Situations. I feel like you're looking at where people underestimate you as well. And of course, you're going to focus on cash, property, real estate, uh, you know, budget, saving plans, pensions, all of those things in order to level up. But right now, I feel like you're looking at where people drain your energy or where, you know, you are overgiving. You know, of course, don't ever change your wonderful, supportive self. But I feel like the beginning of the month, this is a bit of me time. I feel there's an energy here of you really taking a moment for yourself because the hermit is to withdraw, okay? Because you're exhausted, you need to regroup, rethink something. And I feel the right information is going to come to you in stillness. Wisdom comes in stillness. So I feel, you know, this card... It says here, um, letting go and seeing the world from a new perspective. This card suggests a suspension of belief, allowing oneself to be immersed in the dream world in order to gain new insights. Now, immediately when I read that, I got this energy of like looking at what is possible and what you feel is impossible. Nothing is impossible because I feel as soon as you attach a thought to it, because remember thoughts become things, you are going to attach yourself to a vibration where the universe supports it and you will make it become your reality. So I feel like you're doing what you feel or what some people may have told you is impossible, but you're making it possible. So uh, whatever it is, it will come to light. We got the Ace of Swords here. So this is a breakthrough energy. It's going to be a faster pace at the end of the month, but I feel some news that has a lot of potential to change your life forever is actually coming in in October and it's so exciting. For some of you, it could be that if you're in a relationship, it could be that the person pops the question. For some of you, it could be that you're getting married this month, so you're making a commitment to a person. Um, for some of you, it could be a lucrative deal coming in. Um, also, for a lot of you, this is about you writing down your thoughts. I see some of you kind of really changing up the way that you run life. So it could be that you're deciding to get up earlier in the morning in order to write a journal or in order to do exercise or do something that benefits you long term because I see a lot of you having to make this decision and the ace of swords is clarity knowing what to do next and taking action towards it you're taking responsibility for something in your life that actually is going to be a lot of fun because that hangman is literally on a swing. So I feel a lot of you, although you're feeling exhausted and of course you have those responsibilities to adhere to every day, I feel that you are um, you know, seeking a little bit more spontaneity, a little bit more lightheartedness, an open-hearted approach to October. I also see a lot of 
invitations coming in for you or a lot of events that you will attend that will really open up your heart chakra this month and really raise your vibrations. I see a lot of you trying to connect to people that you really care about. The lover's card, of course, it is the choice card. So the hangman is to stop and pause. The hermit is to withdraw. The answer is within you. And the lover's card is you may have to make a decision. So I feel this month is big about either a decision to relocate or leave a place or leave a friendship or relationship that you've outgrown in some way. For some of you, this could be like a critical decision in and around a relationship because I feel there could be like a really honest, open conversation this month with someone that you really care about. And it helps you both kind of see each other, take accountability, let the truth flow out. And I feel it brings balance and harmony to the the situation because we do have that two of pentacles there as well. Now, some of you, there is a creative endeavor that really inspires you in your heart and soul. It kind of like really makes you very enthusiastic. And it could be that you're launching this this month because we've got two launch cards at the end of the month there. So this could be a business idea. It could be a creative endeavor. For some of you, it's something that you write or use your voice, you know, or maybe write words. I feel like words are your superpower right now and you're expressing yourself in some way. So if you're taking like, um, you know, a, a meeting, you're going for an interview or you are uh, going for an appraisal or if you're actually going to be giving a talk or a presentation, for example, I feel like you're going to do really well and people are going to be on your side. You're literally going to win people over this month on whatever it is that you need to connect to. For some of you, it may be an important meeting about money. I mean, looking at finances for you, you've got the two of pentacles. I feel like your money will fluctuate this month. Got to be honest with you. I feel when it comes in, a lot of it's going to go out on bills that you need to pay. And I feel like, yes, you're going to have a small amount in your uh, sort of savings savings at the end of the month, but it feels sort of like money as usual, easy come, easy go. We all know that the flow of money, but remember money is an energy. So uh, although your second house and your eighth house is actually influencing you, so you're all going to be thinking about your finances this month. That's the most sort of influential energy swirling around you. Even though um, with the uh, lover's card there, this is a card of duality. So some of you could be finding second streams of income or launching something new or diversifying your sort of financial endeavors in some way in order to bring in more. Now, if you are launching something because the Ace of Swords is to kind of like start something, new ideas, then I definitely see that it'll be very lucrative, but it may be slow to start. And I feel part of you is kind of like, surrendering to the process, saying, you know what, I'm going to launch this, I'm going to start it and see how it goes. Your heart is in it, you feel so much about it, it's going to do really well. But don't be disappointed that it's going to be slow and steady, because it is going to be steady, and then suddenly it's going to take off, okay? There's an energy here of it starting slow, but suddenly... It's almost like it launches into the public eye if you're someone who is like on a social media platform, for example, or um, if you're on a project and you're not sure how it's going to go. Later on, it's really going to kick off and it's going to draw a lot of attention to it. So even if you're in a company and you work for uh, this company and it's a, like a nine to five position, I feel, you know, you're just establishing yourself in it and then suddenly you're going to be the person who is figureheading you know some area of the company maybe even in charge of it uh, at some point because I feel like the trajectory is on the up so whatever it is you're launching everything with your heart so uh, for some of you this is all about your relationships okay I feel because we got the hangman and the hermit there may be someone that you actually really care about that either has withdrawn from you or you've withdrawn from them. And I feel there needs to be a very kind of abrupt, direct conversation here. Uh, I feel like there's an energy of taking accountability, responsibility, and basically speaking truth. So I feel there may be a, a difficult but necessary conversation this month with somebody. And I feel... All the cards are laid out on the table, but it actually resolves and brings harmony to the situation. 
but it must come with absolute truth. And with the hangman here, uh, I mean, you've got the hangman twice, okay? And uh, we've got the empress energy here as well in the resistance position. I feel like you need to really like speak your truth to have your needs met because of course, not everybody is a mind reader, okay? Uh, so that's very important. But I mean, the lover's card, if you look at this card, it's like a ball of yarn, okay? So it's like the strings that are attached. Uh, and I feel this is about everything that you love in your life and how it's attached to you and how you feel about it. And I feel you're just in a very soul searching mood this month where you're just reflecting on your journey. Maybe it's because you've just come off the back of your birthday season and it can be that you're just thinking about the legacy that you leave, but also the journey that you've been on, you know, all the experiences you've had. For some of you, life got turned upside down in some way and you have been someone who is very strong and got yourself back on point. Uh, and for some of you, if you've come to this reading and for example, you lost your job or were made redundant in some way, you may have been waiting a long time. I mean, for some of you, you may have taken yourself out of the working environment because it was very toxic or, you know, you're burnt out because the hangman with the hermit tells me that you're literally running on empty right now, but you're still giving a lot of yourself out there. So I get an energy that if you are currently looking for a new role, there is one coming in. It's at the end of the month. There may even be two, but I feel one offers more money and it's a bit of a no brainer that you're going to take that one. Really. I feel that uh, is also emotionally fulfilling as well as financially but I feel there is an energy whichever role you take it may be like probationary period where you get a certain amount of money to start soon you will staircase and the money will increase in this particular role so if you're currently looking for a role even if you're in one or not and you're looking to uh, get more money I do see a small increase here so I do see a role being offered um, a lot of you if you put your resume out there there is some movement in a career at the end of the month and if you're in a role and you're hoping to get a promotion I would say that there is one in the sort of mix here, but it's not fully formed yet. It feels with the uh, Empress energy in the resistance position that it's on the cards. You've been working hard towards it. However, you may hear about it or there may be some sort of movement on it, but it doesn't get finalized until later on in the year. Now, this will be a small increase in finances as well, but it gives you an opportunity to really utilize your skill set and, you know, basically make some headway on the ladder of your career. So whatever it is that you do, I do see that there is a room for maneuver, but a lot of you may hear of someone departing you know, someone giving in their notice in the company that you work for. This is someone who's quite established, uh, maybe a managerial role or even CEO stepping down. And I feel uh, they may be, because um, I don't see them retiring. I actually see them kind of like going off and figureheading another company. So some of you may even have a conversation with this person and there is talks about you going to work with them as well. So it could be like headhuntery kind of energy there too. Now for the rest of you who are not involved in like a career energy, the Hermit is a big soul searching month, lots of reflection and it's a, an opportunity, but a necessary one to take some time out for you and really, you know, think about life. You know, what is life all about? And what's the next steps on your journey? Where do you need to take things in order to get to where you want to go? Because I feel some of you right now are ruminating on a plan, okay? Because we've got that chariot card, and this is a card to move forward, but it is in the resistance position. It feels there's something you want to either strategize or uh, launch at some point. Now, this could be a relocation because it is a chariot card. Um, for some of you, it could be that you want to leave somewhere like a neighborhood in order to go somewhere else. For some of you, it could be that you just feel like you're suspended right now. Somehow it feels like you're on autopilot. You're trying to reignite your lust for life, that passion. So I feel like you're going to get very busy at the end of the month and book lots of events. And I feel some of you, if you're looking for love, there could be an event here um, that you're invited to and um, it feels very mysterious. So it could be connected to Samhain or Halloween. Maybe it's like a fancy dress event or uh, just some sort of uh, celebration in and around that date. But I feel like you get talking to somebody, maybe a couple of people, but there's one in particular who really connects to you on a cerebral level as well as a heart space level. And I feel this person, although it would be a slow kind of getting to know each other, um, 
of course, they're going to be very passionate, but I feel like both of you are reserving your judgment. I feel like you're sussing each other out, and I feel it'll be a very interesting relationship that will develop over time. I feel by the end of the year, you'll be in a relationship with this person, um, but I feel both of you will take it slow. Um, now, the chariot card, of course, is about overcoming an obstacle. So some of you are really like ruminating on an obstacle right now. You may feel like you don't have a certain resource, but the universe... This is the month that the universe does step in and offer you a breakthrough. So I feel like things will get moving in the right direction. If you've had any trouble with um, deliveries recently or uh, a chain has been broken in some way in your life, uh, whether that's to do with business industry or just some sort of line of communication with a person, it will get mended and things will start moving as they should at the end of October there. Now it says here, overcoming obstacles and moving forward with determination. This card symbolizes the journey through the dream world, mastering control over the dreamscapes. So again, this is all about your hopes, your dreams and your wishes and moving forward, lots of movement there, especially at the end of the month. And there's a lot of success connected to this because you're dedicated and committed to something. Also, I feel like you're going to have more energy. So this is a rest period at the beginning of October, even though I feel like you're still doing life, trying to pay those bills and stay on top of things. And some of you, you know, you may be trying to do really exciting new things with dependents. If you have children, for example, I just feel like you're trying to find interesting things to do and really connect to like hobbies and just fun things. Because I feel a lot of you are thinking about your inner child this month and really trying to be open hearted, playful and uh, also learn a little bit more about yourself and what you're capable of over uh, the time period that you've been on this earthly plane, but also how you kind of conduct yourself under pressure. I see a lot of you trying to manage stress levels this month. Now, of course, the middle of the month, your eighth house takes over, and that's all about your joint finances, especially since you've got the lover's card there. This is about things that you're attached to long-term commitments. It doesn't have to be about love or people. It can also be about subscriptions. Uh, it can be about service providers. It can be about mortgages, repayment plans on credit card debt, things like that. So this is you kind of trying to transform how you bring that debt down or, you know, uh, bring that mortgage down, for example. And I feel like you are going to make some major headway there as well. Um, I also see that a lot of you are going to be trying to think about money making ideas this month, whether it's like selling some things that you've outgrown in your home space, putting it online so that other people can really enjoy it, pre-loved goods, and you get a financial exchange there. Some of you may launch a business from your home space. Some of you may also take up a seasonal role this month as well if you're looking to bring in more finances because the Two of Pentacles with the Lover's Card it tells me about duality, tells me about two streams of income, but it also tells me, um, especially if you're trying to make a decision, that you may feel that you fluctuate between one over the other. So it's like whichever pathway sets your soul on fire, makes you feel excited. That's the one for you. You know, following your heart is very important because if you choose another path, your heart will long and yearn for the other path. And eventually, you know what? The heart will win and you'll kind of like have a course correction. And that's what I mean by, you know, some of you are going to literally have a course correction this month. Now, the hangman, of course, is in the resistance position. Some of you may feel there's some sort of missed opportunity that you uh, experienced in life. I feel like there is a return of something that's going to be very exciting for you. But remember, nothing is really a missed opportunity. What is meant for you will never pass you by. And I want you to be aware that sometimes People or situations or objects, things are taken out of our life for a reason because, you know, rejection is protection and redirection. So I feel for some of you, there is a bit of a redirection going on in your life right now. Okay. But you may feel at first that, um, it was really sad that you missed out on something, but actually the universe is about to deliver something better. We've got an ace of swords here, which means, you know, I will get to this in a moment. It means suddenly you see why the other thing didn't work and why now something else has come in in its place. So with that Ace of Swords, you know, I feel this is a transformative energy where basically the law of karma and the law of fate and destiny is intervening to bring you what you need for your highest good. And I feel also expect quick results. So some of you, if you're taking a test this month or you're giving a presentation, as I said, 
expect really quick results at the end of the month. Things go really well. People are on your side. You're literally winning people over here. Now, we've also got the Empress energy. Because we have the Hangman twice and also the Hermit, the Empress in the resistance position is definitely pointing to the fact that you've been super busy and you've been neglecting your own needs in some way. Also, you may feel that you haven't been having as much fun. You feel disconnected in some way. And I feel this is a month to really get back on track and really get back into the core of who you are and what you need in life to have balance. You know, if we do one thing all the time, then of course the rest of our life is going to suffer. So, you know, balance and harmony is basically how we should all try to strive for, um, you know, the best in life. Variety is the spice of life. So if you have found yourself just working really hard, because of course, the economy is a little bit uh, volatile right now, and we're all trying to do the best that we can in order to pay the bills. And if you feel like you've just been doing work, 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 then of course, it's time for fun. It's time for you to connect to things that bring you joy, whether that's going to an art gallery, whether that's spending more time in nature to reconnect in some way, whether it is to find peace of mind, meditative states, or whether it is to connect to your family. Whatever it is, I feel this is the month to have it all. Let's put it that way. Now, of course, the Empress energy is a card of nurturing your own needs, for a lot of you, when it comes to your business or your career, especially if you're an entrepreneur, some of you may be thinking about going solo and launching that business. Or if you are one, you may be thinking about uh, brands that you want to partner up with or company alliances or, you know, people that you want to advertise with or basically promote what it is that you want to get out there to the public or your services or goods. So I feel it's a great time to do that and things are going to pick up pace. Business is going to get a little bit better for you, especially at the end of October there. But also with the Empress energy, uh, this is a card of stepping into a promotion. So uh, I definitely see a lot of you in business uh, taking new strides up the ladder. However, I feel like it's only in the works right now and it will come a little bit later on. Now also, when you get this card and Hangman and the Empress there with the Chariot, Chariot is to keep a tight rein on your finances. So if you have a big purchase that you want to make this month, I would say shop around because you're about to find a really good deal. Discounts, deals, everything is swirling around in your energy right now. So whether you're about to buy a car, because we have the chariot card there, I feel like you're going to find the car that you want at a lesser price. Now, it may not be much less. However, it is less. So I definitely see here that you're going to be able to uh, be very proud of yourself that you weighed it because it is a good deal. I keep being given it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Um, also, for some of you, and I hate to give you this message as well, um, for some of you, because the chariot card is in the resistance position, there may be a minor thing that needs to be fixed on your car, okay, especially if you've got a car that you've had for a long time. Um, but I feel some of you have been waiting you know there's an issue with it. You've just been holding off on it. I feel the end of October, it may come to a bit of a critical state where you have to get it fixed, okay? So that's coming out there as well. So now I feel a lot of you are protecting your inner peace this month because there's something you want to withdraw and focus on. Could be a new project. For some of you, I also see that you're paying more attention to yourself aesthetically. Now, my readings are not about aesthetics, but I see some of you may actually, uh, you know, get some new items in a wardrobe. You may, you know, buy some new clothes, maybe change the way you do your makeup or the color of your hair, or you may do something that, you know, you look at yourself in a new light, okay? And I feel, I just feel change around you right now. And I feel you're changing the things or the aspects that you can, and you just feel great especially at the end of the month. I mean, you may feel great right now, but I feel there's something that you do to enhance who you are, okay? Uh, shine your light in some way, and you just feel really great energy at the end of the month. Now, we've got the moon card to close the month. Now, the moon card, it can... Um, it can connect to a sense of lament, okay? So I want to pull a card on this. Um, normally, it'll connect to hopes, dreams, romancing your life in some way. But also I am getting this lament. So I want to see what that is because I feel it's like it's pretty hard right now. Okay. Um, but also I feel like you're trying to be really positive about life in general. And I feel 
the main energy I've got for my beautiful Virgos this month is having to make a major decision. And, um, you know, the moon card is to navigate your way through that decision. So normally there's a dog and a wolf on that card. So it can indicate some of you are thinking about coming out of a comfort zone, being more independent because the wolf is a very independent energy. Some of you may be, you know, traveling overseas or thinking about relocating your business overseas or moving away from family because, you know, you need to make your way on some sort of breakthrough or you're making your path in some way but also the dog is on there as well which is like comfort stability should I stay where I am can you have the best of both worlds well the two of pentacles says yes so for some of you it could be uh that yeah we've got the five of wands there so this could be an inner battle that you've got but I mean for some of you with the empress energy there could be some sort of complex like conflict with someone that I feel like you will have an honest open conversation with and it may be hard so I do see you resolving this however I feel there could be potential argument when two people are trying to express themselves and have their needs met but it will be resolved and it's best to get it all out on the table so I did mention that it's coming back to that energy two of swords yeah two of swords is like coming out of the comfort zone protecting your inner peace ten of pentacles is full investment. It's also like stability, choosing a path that you feel a little bit more stable. Um, for some of you, this could be a family-related conflict because the Ten of Pentacles is there. But um, with that Five of Wands there, I mean, for some of you, if you're in a career, this could be rivalry, that you don't know how an interview is going to go and you are hoping to win an opportunity. The Ten of Pentacles tells me that you do and that, you know, you're bringing in more money. But um, for some of you, it could be that you're just feeling a bit uncertain about the future financially and you're trying all you can do in order to save finances and think about that legacy that you leave there. So I feel a lot of you are also thinking about pensions because this is a card of pension, real estate. So, you know, you may have some things on your mind regarding real estate and new policies, rules or regulations in and around that right now. And you're just wondering how does it affect you? So um, I feel everything works out in your favor, but what I'm getting here is uh, not to worry because I feel things are going to develop in a better way than you thought, okay? There's also divine intervention. So whatever it is you're worried about right now, because the moon card can be about fears, hopes and fears there. Uh, I'm going to read what it says here. Navigating through confusion and uncovering hidden fears. There we go. Uh, this card symbolizes the journey through the murky and mysterious landscape of dreams, confronting illusions and uncovering truths. So this is about you revealing more about who you are, what you're capable of under pressure, what your fears are on the path ahead. Sometimes we fear uncertainty itself. We don't know how something's going to go. But with the surrender card, with the hangman, sometimes that's easier said than done. And the ace of swords, it's like you trust the process and now here is the breakthrough. So if you've been going through something difficult, that ace of swords is going to help you uh, and also protect you. Good things are coming for you, but also you will have clarity of mind. So if you're feeling a bit confused about a decision you have to make, I feel like you're going to make the right decision that is right for you and your heart. And uh, the two of pentacles, it brings you peace. You know, there's literally a yin yang symbol there. So I definitely see that, um, you know, uh, it's a peaceful resolution and you end the month feeling really good about yourself, really calm. But also the two of pentacles, you know, when we apply it to um, money, it can be that you're going to be shuffling some finances around to pay bills, you know, the usual thing. Um, but also I feel like you are being careful not to overspend. And of course, this card indicates that you must have balance between doing fun things and also, you know, work or responsibilities. You need to be adaptable, be flexible. Money and fun and uh, exchanges of energy with people, it's all about the flow of energy. So we must not close ourselves off to different avenues. Otherwise, we will start to feel a little bit stuck. And I feel some of you have been feeling a little bit stuck. Um, I'm also being given an energy here of something that perhaps you thought you were going to give up on and or you felt it wasn't working for you, suddenly there is a revival. I'm being given the word revival there. So this could be an idea because Ace of Swords connects to an idea. So if you thought a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago, oh, that'd be really awesome, but you put it to the side, I see you revisit it this month and you launch it or you connect to it or make more headway on it and it's going to be very fulfilling for you as well. 
Now, I would say um, be open when you're making the decision because I feel some circumstances may change. That's what I'm being given. I don't know what that means for your situation, so please apply it to your situation. The one constant that we have in life is change, okay? Uh, so I feel being open, being flexible, I feel the right opportunity is going to come towards you. Some sort of good news is being offered to you. I would say third week of October for you in particular, and it just sets your mind at ease. And it kind of gives you evidence that you're making progress on something. And there's a lot of success here, but I feel like you're in the motions of working towards something. So I feel like you're not quite there yet, but you're going to see a breakthrough on it at the end of the month, if that makes sense. And the victory is to come. I see a lot of success surrounding you. We've got the mountain. We've got the key. Now the key literally means breakthrough, okay? Um, also revelations. So very soul searching month, inner child. I mean, I'm using a different deck and I'm getting the same energy for the reading that they just gave for you. Um, yeah, a lot of hard work, busyness with the bees and the anchor for stability. So yes, I mean, sometimes I wonder, should I just literally do one deck and, you know, do a shorter reading? But a lot of people say they want the longer reading. So, um, you know, I'll find a midway balance between the two one day, I'm sure. But we've got the mountain there. So things have been a bit of a hard slog. You've come up against some setbacks and some obstacles. But, you know, you're a very strong person and you're keeping that passion alive. It may be a very small flame sometimes because you're exhausted, but you're about to reignite that lust for life. And I definitely see here that you're going to have a breakthrough on an obstacle or something you felt was very suspended or even turned your life upside down a little bit. I feel like you're making headway in the month of October. Uh, it says there, uh, obstacles, delays, resistance, struggles, difficult blockages, stalled, and opposition. So if you've been at loggerheads with somebody, it doesn't have to be a family member. It can be a boss, can be, you know, a friend, it can be, you know, your partner. Sometimes relationships, we all go through changes and frustrations and we bicker at each other sometimes and sometimes we don't, you know, so it feels uh, very much like you're finding a resolution in order to bring more harmony and peace to the situation. Answers, unlocking, revelation, open, yes answers, so anything that you're trying to accomplish is a big old yes there, breakthrough, solution, fate, and karma. And I did mention that, that you have divine intervention at the end of the month to bring you something really special that you've been working really hard to accomplish there too, okay? Now also, um, I mean... Basically, the key to unlocking it all is really following your heart. So there's another heart there and it's a padlock, which means you're safe to express yourself. You're, ex you're safe to follow your heart and the universe supports your endeavors. We've also got the child there, new beginnings, but also, um, I mean, for some of you, you're definitely launching something new doesn't have to be that you're launching though. I want people to be aware. New beginnings, we can have so many new beginnings, new contracts, um, new subscriptions, some of you are ending old cycles of repeat as well. The chariot card can indicate that you may renew some subscriptions or have to look at documents that are coming to an expiry date and renew those. So it can be very much on an administrative level that you're going to be focusing on those things. You know, the mundane tasks. Sometimes the second house and the eighth house, it can feel like you're all business as usual. But with this child card, it's a reminder to have fun this month, okay? Because I feel like you do have a lot on your plate. And it says here, naive, new beginnings, immature, young, inexperienced, innocence, child, and new. Now, some of you, you know, um, if you're pregnant, for example, you may see that um, I'm getting delayed energy. So it may be that your child will come a little bit after the due date. Okay. Uh, also, I feel for some of you, especially if you're arguing someone, you may be dealing with someone who's being a little bit immature. And I feel like you'll have that conversation with that person. But ultimately, the dolphins, they tend to represent having fun for fun's sake. And, you know, basically it's about tapping into that inner child. And a lot of you, as you can see with that suitcase there, some of you are looking at new horizons. You may just be thinking about this right now. Maybe that you're like looking at different parts of the world and saying, you know what? I'd love to live there. Can I migrate my business there? Can I move there? Can I live there? If I do that, you know, I'm going to be moving away from family and friends. How does that impact my life? 
Some of you may be just thinking about vacation, so please apply it to your situation. We've got the bees there, so working really hard, of course, but everything is coming together and it's creating a structure that will be very rewarding for you. Some of you may even be thinking about financial structures this month as well. And it says here, sweetness, cooperation, hard work, focus, dedication, sweet results, and of course, duty there as well. So I feel like it's a bit of a mixed bag for you this month, but it does bring stability. A lot of you are also anchoring your emotions emotions, processing something that's been very deep there, but I feel like you will get through this and I feel like, you know, you will make the right decision for you in the situation and um, it almost feels like a load off at the end of the month, a relief. It says here, safety, stability, fixed, enduring, stuck, consistent, stubborn, and long-term. Now, I really want to um, pick up on this because I'm getting an energy here of, you know, if we do something consistently, we get really good at it. You know, we become a pro at it, really. And sometimes we can also feel like we're stuck because we're doing the same old thing, just a different day. But I feel like you are a pro at doing what it is that you do in your life. And that is not to be forgotten. These things that we go through in our lives, they set us up for the future. You may experience something now that you're like, I can't believe this is happening to me. But in the future, there is something that could occur that will actually, you know, benefit from what you experience now. I know many years ago, I went through so many things that I was like, what? This is crazy. Why am I experiencing these things? But I know now that they support my journey and made me who I am today. And actually, if I didn't have those experiences then, I certainly wouldn't be able to cope with some of the things that I deal with now in my life too. So, you know, everything happens for a reason and we have to acknowledge that. And I feel this is a big month of revelation for you, my beautiful Virgo. And there's so much reward, sweetness, and abundance on the other side of that. But a major breakthrough. For some of you, this is a breakthrough in health. Some of you have been taking some time out, rest. Some of you are even thinking about taking a sabbatical in order to explore other options right now. Whatever choice you make, it is the right one for you and it will bring immense peace, harmony, but also finances as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go and get a trinket or a rune for you. We have, oh, we got the life ring. Okay. So this is all about your commitments that really connects to that lover's card there. But you know, things are coming full circle for you. This can indicate an agreement coming in that you're going to lock in a deal and it'll like benefit you for life. For some of you, you're literally getting married this month or someone is going to pop the question and propose to you. So congratulations if that's you, but also this is about staying afloat. Okay. Let's really be real here. This is about staying float in an ever-changing environment. None of us know, you know, the true extent to how things will change in the future. Trust the process. Know that you're protected. I see a lot of good things working in your favor, and I see divine intervention whenever things get tough. So I actually see that you're going to remain in a really good position no matter your circumstances, okay? So I also see that you work really hard to be in that position in the first place. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates for you, my beautiful Virgo. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little notification bell. Let's you know when I update my next message. Let's me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo, and love and light.